What's the crack and welcome back to another episode of Dub Monkey Garage. My name is Evan and on today's episode we're going to be fitting the power steering cooler and the oil cooler to the 350Z. Follow us along on our journey. I'll show you a few tips and tricks on how to do it yourself. Let's go do it guys. Let's go! What's the crack guys? How's it going on? Well, I don't know how all this editing is going to go together so it might be mixed in with something else uh, but the car is looking absolutely manky the new steering wheel is in but I think I'm going to roll it outside get it a nice clean and I have some work to do on it in general so I'm going to get the front and back bumpers off afterwards and stick some sponsorship stickers on which would be cool and then we'll go from there it's going to look great so let's get started, let's get this thing outside, and let's get it washed. Let's get it. So, she's all washed now. I didn't bother drying it. I know. Probably should, but fuck it. It'll be fine. It's not a big deal. It is a race car at the end of the day, and it's quite clean now, anyways. Um, plus, my good cloth. I had an auto finesse one. Uh, that was actually really, really good for drying. And we used it to uh, catch the oil from the diff when it was draining out. <laughs> uh, so, there's no more of that. But that's okay, we're okay with that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start taking off the front bumper. The 350, but first, I'm gonna need a battery change on the camera. So I'll see you guys in a minute. And let's get started on it. Let's go. guys we have done it we've taken off the nismo front bumper from the 350z this thing looks awesome even off the car and it's very lightweight and very very cool i'm going to start by taking off the three bolts on either side you see these here one two and three under there i'm going to take them off on either side and get the crash bar off crash bar is looking manky so i might even give it a quick clean or spray some paint <laughs> that could have been bad. Now, this is the culprit and the reason for this video. Well, one of the main reasons. This bad boy right here is the original power steering cooler for the 350Z. Uh, from what I read online on forums and everything, they are notorious for overheating. Like, notorious. They happen, happens like all the time. And I think when we had Lucas's car out for the first time, uh, it, I'll insert a clip here and show you guys what I want about. Uh, the power steering already started to overheat, which is crazy. Like it was only driving maybe maybe five minutes. Um, obviously the type of driving it was, but uh, yeah, it was already overheating, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, so let's get to it and let's resolve this issue so we can bring it to the track and have no worries. Let's go. Thank you. 
So if you trace up this, it goes into this hole here. So if you watched, so if you watched Adam LZ's video uh, about doing the same sort of job, he does his on a H or so the high rev model. So the high rev model has the two air intakes, one on either side. We unfortunately do not have that luxury in this car. So it means that we're going to have to possibly bore out that hole where the lines come up from it or drill a hole up the top, cut out a hole up here to match on the other, like on the other side. Come out through there behind the washer bottle, the coolant uh, refill. So I might try and move the coolant refill for now and move it out of the way. That is too big down there, so we might put the coolant down there eventually. The engine bay is looking a bit tired here, isn't it? I gave it a quick squeaky clean. Uh, not, nothing too serious, just just quick wipe down. In the meantime, so I'm going to try and figure this out. I'm going to move that bottle and uh, we'll see what we're going to do. Uh, it's been a little while since you've last seen me. Um, what I've done since then is I have got the power steering cooler off. <laughs> I made a fucking mess. Uh, yeah, so I got the power steering cooler off. Uh, it was really hard. I just ended up cutting the lines and sticking uh, sticking a glove over it and a cable tie in it so it didn't make a mess before I figure out a better solution, which I will. I'm sorry about it. Um, so there's that. And then I've also drilled out this hole here. Well, dremeled it out with the rotary tool there. And yeah, that's fine. So that's all well and good. So we have that hole sorted, which is great. Um, so now I'm just not sure if the AN10 fittings are gonna go through it. I need to fit four AN10 fittings through there. Um, as long as the oil, um, the sandwich plate is on this side for changing the oil. I think it is. If not, I just drill that out for nothing, I guess. Well, I'll fit two AN10s down there anyways. Uh, so, if I haven't shown you already, at the start of the video, I'll show you guys now what you need to do this job. Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, we here at Dub Monkey Garage have some exciting news for you guys. Um, we've actually got our first channel sponsor. Uh, the sponsor we got is actually quite a big name. We've actually been sponsored by Mishimoto. How exciting is that? That's great. So we have some stickers for the car, some uh, accessories and stuff that go inside. Uh, we're really excited to have Mishimoto on board. What a cool brand to get, and especially as our first one. So how amazing is that? Awesome, awesome, awesome. You should be seeing more stuff from them very soon on this YouTube channel. In the meantime, let me talk you through what we're gonna need for this build. So, number one, you need an oil sandwich plate. Uh, so this one is a reverse one. You don't need a reverse one. I, that was all they had in stock and we're, we were kind of in a hurry, so I took whatever I could get. So that is the first thing. Try that there. Now, I have a box of fittings. So let me tell you a bit more about these. Probably Lucas coming home now. For the power steering, you need a barbed fitting. Uh, that's AN8, and then AN8 to AN10. That's what you need there. Then you need uh, AN10 fitting to connect into the bottom of that, into the hose, and then another AN10 fitting to make it go to the cooler. Uh, I'll have all these down in the description. You need like, four sets of these, four sets of two of these, so that's eight of them. Um, anything else I need? AN10 to AN10 fitting. And also you need these bolts here. This is an M20 from Mishimoto, so that makes this fit to your car. Very good. And then these two little adapters are what make attach the lines to this. This is a thermostatic plate. I highly recommend it if you're going to be racing. Uh, so you can get your car up to temperature. And even for the road, I would recommend the extra fuel bob just to get the best one. So thank you, Mishimo, for sponsoring um, our channel and me and Lucas. So really appreciate to have you guys on board. Now, back to me a few minutes ago, outside, working on the car. Let's go. And they are the fittings that you need for doing the power steering and the oil. 
and here are our brackets and here is our lovely cooler this is how it looks for now this is just a temporary kind of look stay tuned for later on in this video to show you how to customize your own it's gonna look awesome guys I'm gonna mount up the power steering cooler onto its bracket just so I can get an idea of how it's gonna look when it goes on so that will be back in front okay this kit's actually really good gave us a lot of supplied nuts and washers and nuts and bolts so, should go well okay there's one in Hey guys, uh, we're back inside now at the moment. I brought the lovely 350Z inside. Um, I ended up with a little spillage. <laughs> a little spillage uh, when I was coming inside. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, it's all good. We have her inside now. I also mounted the cooler up, so obviously the light in here is shit, and I'm sorry about it. But we just kind of mocked up where the cooler will go and I'm just gonna see what I can do really yeah. I'm gonna see what we can do let's go I have fed the lions, tried to clean them up as much as I could and get them out of the way. Still kind of in the way of the washer bottle or the overflow for the coolant. So that could be an issue. But I'm going to start filling up with some, what is it? Castrol Transmax Dex Treat Multi Vehicle ATF Fluid. I'm going to put that inside and fill up the cooler. Because, well, the cooler is not going anywhere, let's be honest. Well, how sick does it look? I just want to say again, big thank you to my girlfriend. She did a fantastic job on it. And I love having my logo on my oil cooler. It makes it very unique. I don't think I've seen anyone else with it. How cool is that though? Come on guys. Right, so I'm going to fill up this fluid and uh, let's get after it. camera battery change later and we're back the two fittings are attached and uh, see a bit of pink fluid actually in there now is there any leaks underneath once the fluid went inside the lines it's another question okay there is a bit of a leak there uh oh that's not good news okay we have a bad one there really bad and the other one is just a slow one still. Right, test drive of. Oh, I forgot, I have no power steering. I have. Zero power steering right now because of the issue I was experiencing with my fittings that I bought. Okay, not bad so far. Oil pressure staying normal. Not overheating. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have, smash like, hit subscribe. And make sure to stay tuned for more videos. Hit that bell as well so you make sure you don't miss anything. 
thank you guys for watching the track day is coming very soon as of recording this video it is 13 days away so when you guys see it it'll be a lot closer to that time because it does take me quite some time to get these videos out and about so as i said smash like hit subscribe i've been evan this has been dub monkey garage and i'll see you guys in the next one bye